Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. No, no, we're actually stuck. I didn't realize it would get so deep so quickly. Crazy, hey? Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. How was your night in the Love Hotel? I would say it was pretty lovely. <laughs> I actually had to blow up our camping pillows, these ones here, because um, the pillows from the hotel, they're actually like plastic mm. and they're not very comfortable. And everything's a little bit slidey. <laughs> yes. So, yep, this is how it looks, the love hotel. <laughs> and we're having for breakfast nice granola and we're having some of our really cheap cheap the cheapest mangoes in the world with the best taste because we are actually in a town here where they're just growing mangoes so i call it the mango town bumblebee was sleeping here just right next to us one two three let's go oh. yep sit Okay, other way. Yes! <sighs> Whew! Okay, ready? Yep! Let's do it! Let's do it! It's a new day! <laughs> Muchas gracias! Ciao! Bye bye! That's a bomb, yeah! <laughs> so the owner just said everyone, every traveler is welcome to his love hostel. <laughs> I love it. Good morning world. Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 332 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in a town called Chao in Peru. We had a lovely night at the Love Hotel. <laughs> the place where on the door it charges you per hour. <laughs> it's true actually. Not per night, it's like two hours, uh, it's 30 soles. Yes, which is about five, yeah, six pounds. But I was just wondering why somebody would want such a short sleep. <laughs> Strange. Strange, eh? But it had a very big bathtub that we didn't use because there were no taps. <laughs> and now we're ready to hit the road again north. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here. And today our aim is to get as close as we can to the border of Ecuador, which is here. So we'll be heading up through Trujillo and Chiclayo and heading towards Piura. But Piura is over 300 miles away, so we'll probably be ending up somewhere in the Desierto de Sechura. Yes, we are nearing the top of Peru now, but it's still a little bit too far, I think, for us to reach uh, the border to Ecuador today. But uh, we'll get as far as we can. It's pretty crazy because actually it's just 300 miles, but our navigation says it takes about eight and a half hours. So it will be really interesting to see how these eight and a half hours go. It's already 8.20, so better hit the road, let's go. We're stuck behind a field on wheels. <laughs> Look at this! Wow! Look how big this is! This is ridiculous! You can't even see a sign that there's a truck there. Oh my god, and he's losing corn everywhere. Yes! I do not see how I'm going to be able to see how to get around here. <laughs> I don't even see how he knows where yes. how to get through. Yeah, and also the cars, how can they pass, you know? Can I see? Oh, Jesus. This is why it takes eight hours to get up to the border. Wow. Being stuck behind a field. Okay, let me see what's going on over. Oh, no, there's a truck. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Aha! <laughs> Whoa, look at this! <laughs> Oh my god, that truck as well is like from the 1940s. Wow. It looks like it is falling apart every second. Oh my lord. Wow. That's amazing. We finally made it out of the city. And now we are on a little bit bigger road again. But oh my god, look at that. People burning their fields here. And it's completely hazy. 
it looks like that we are in a cloud, but it's just smoke from the from the burnt field. Yeah, as far as you can see, all around is just white and thick with smoke. It's crazy. I never saw anything like it. Look at that. That's insane. having some bread and cheese otherwise it's really slow going we did a hundred miles in like three hours like we have to stop all the time it's like it's a quite hectic ride actually because there are other cars or there are horses or there are people or dogs or there are always some hazards it's a hazardous way the pan american hey yeah it is it's like it's really crazy actually i put some crisps in there as well <laughs> nothing like a slice of cheese crisp mayonnaise sandwich, eh? But this one cost seven solids, which is about one pound thirty. So it's a really good price. So it looks like it's got tomato, cabbage or spinach, carrot, carrots. I can see spinach, onion. A ton of rice underneath. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, the ride is pretty hectic today. It's not too nice actually. It's a lot of um, it's a lot of traffic. It's very hot. Uh, there's a lot of rubbish on the side of the road actually, so we don't really film too much today But um, we did at least 150 miles today already, so we try to push on for another 100 miles today But for now we will just enjoy our tortilla It's like Lady in the Tramp, hey? Very hot! <laughs> 20,999 .9. We just hit 21,000 miles on the road! Woo! <laughs> so we are now heading into the center of a town called, or a city called Chiclayo. Oh, sorry dude. And this is one of the biggest towns that we're going to be passing through today. And actually, um, the Garmin has taken us right through the center because it thinks that that was the, I guess, the shortest way. But then we just checked on Google and Google was like telling us that we could have bypassed the town. But oh well. Always the Garmin wants us to go right through the middle, hey? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's the Garmin, the spirit of adventure, you know? Oh my god, the places we've been because of this Garmin, eh? Crazy man. So we've done 175 miles today so far and that's in about six hours of traveling so yeah still averaging about 30 miles an hour average it's crazy 30 miles an hour oh got some funky horns going on today <laughs> Come on, let's get some wind. So we're at 34 degrees now. So wow. it's, it's not a cold day today. It's no. not a cold day. Yeah. Oh, they have a lot of avocados there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, actually, if we see a fruit market, we should stop and get some fruit today. Yeah, definitely. Like yesterday, those mangoes. Oh, my goodness. Cheap and amazing. Yep. Oh, my God. Here is something going on at the moment. Well, I, I don't to know. Be a bit careful about these condition of these roads. Yeah. Wow, it's like completely, whew, completely closed up here. Hey, at the moment. Why? Oh my God! Like the whole road is like 
just blocked. Uh, hmm, let me have a look. Yeah, I don't see what else I can do at the moment. Nothing. We have to just wait. One eternity later. It's going now. Oh yeah, it's absolutely mental at the moment. Wow. Oh look, there's a guy directing the traffic. Ah, okay. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. There's no traffic now that he's there. We must bump each other so often. At least if we bump into somebody, it's just our bags that bump into them. Yes. I'm just following this little TikTok. Oh my goodness, some holes. Oh my god. Okay. Keep an eye out for the holes. Ah uh, yeah, they're building some new roads there. Opa. <laughs> Careful. Because it's quite... Ah. Oh man. Careful here. Holy crap, look at that head. Can't believe it. Just can't believe it. Woohoohoo! <laughs> Bouncing around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? There's no tarmac anymore. What happened to the tarmac? <laughs> Why did they give up oh, on that? Man, the craziness just started, hey? Man, they're nearly crashing into us. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, hold on. I've got to... Hold on, let me just let these fellas yeah, go. Yeah, let, let them go first. Hold on a second, I got a, it's a red light. I'm going to have to stop now. Yeah, wow, that was like a pretty, pretty oh crazy bit, man. But it looks like that at least after this bit here, there is like not too much traffic. Look at this thing in the middle. <laughs> yes! It's like a huge, huge bollard thing. Why? Oh, it's green for us now. But oh, still, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but they're still coming. Look. <laughs> Maybe beep as well. Just <laughs> yeah, but they're still uh, coming. Uh, okay, okay, go okay, for okay, it. Okay, okay. Wow, <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. Oh, did I ever tell you that I hate riding through cities? I'm sometimes worried that Chris's umbrella is just going to snap off on the on the wing of a car. Mamma mia. Mamma mia, eh? Hola. Quanto costa? Um. <laughs> Four fifty, okay. These churros with dulce leche are just one sol each. One sol, okay. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, gracias, muchas gracias. So I have one avocado, okay. then we can get... What about, what about mangoes? I don't know, like how much? Is this one here one soul? Yeah, one soul. Okay. Hola. Um, ¿Cuánto costa? Un sol. Un sol. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Yes. <laughs> so, so what have we got? We got a mango, we got an avocado, and we got a churros. Yes. Oh, muchas gracias. What you you can? It's okay. You can have it. <laughs> you want to share it? Yes, please. What is inside? I don't know. Dulce de leche, I think. <laughs> Something milky. Mm. Okay, I'm really happy that we have some avocado though, because we are here in Peru and. We have to eat avocado every day because they grow the avocado here and it's super cheap. Aquí. Yeah. <laughs> Something going on here on the market. And look, this fruit shop is literally a motorcycle fruit shop. How cool is that? I reckon that would work in uh, Europe, hey? A motorcycle fruit shop. Amazing. That's brilliant. Right, it's time to get out of here, hey?
It's five o'clock now and we can't really see uh, any rooms in this area. We had a little look around this area and we can't really find anything. Uh, so we've had a look on iOverlander and apparently there are some wild camps to be found at least. Yeah, they mentioned on iOverlander that you can take one of these tracks here to the, um, to the towers here. All right, let's try this track and see how it looks okay. in terms of quality and stuff. A fence or not? Oh, no fence, no. <laughs> I was thinking, is there a fence or not? Yeah, they say here at the electricity lines that people are camped um, just pretty much here, I guess. We just have to see if ah, because I think there's a path along the electricity lines as well. Yeah. So perhaps we can actually go a little bit further along maybe this way should yeah, we try okay let's have a look and see the quality of it but let me see oh oh okay that looks a little bit deep hey oh yeah oh. yep i think it is uh, probably too deep okay <laughs> it started to become sandy quite quickly okay i will jump off i thought it would be a little bit less sandy but okay so we're gonna have to i have to turn it around Okay, so we're halfway round. What do you think? Yeah? Okay, let's try it. Ready? Go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're facing the right direction now. We're nearly there. Look, I can get back in a minute. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Am I? Okay, I think we should both push then. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. No, no, we're actually stuck. Let me just see what's going on here. Because we were so close to getting out. We just needed to go straight now. I didn't realize it would get so deep so quickly. Crazy, hey? Hmm, okay. I don't know if I can... Okay, yeah, that works. Hold on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, one, go. Oh, stalled it, hold on. But we were on our way, ready, go. Yep. Okay. Woo. Okay, we're out. <laughs> we did like this stupid little loop. I did not realize that it was like beach. <sighs> If we want to push up the tent there, or we try to go behind this. Oh, I mean, I think we get stuck. It doesn't matter where we're going here, right and left, we will get stuck. Yeah. Yeah. I, I underestimated the deepness of all the sand everywhere. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. So I think we can't go very far then. No. All right. Let's take off the helmet and have a think about it. So we've decided that here is just too windy, sandy, it's too close to the road and we can't really get away from this pylon here uh, because everywhere we go is too sandy. So uh, we've seen that there's a town, a small town, about 40 miles down the road and we have just enough sunlight, I think, to be able to reach there before it gets dark. So basically we're going to hope that there's something in that little town we're just gonna have to ask around when we get there and see if we can find a place, hey? Yeah. Okay, let's try our luck a little bit further down the road. Yep. Yeah, this is one hospital here. 
Okay. Did you... Let me ring the bell here. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a big sign. It does say Hospitage right here. Ah. Hola, hola, buenas. Oh, the gate's open. Oh, look at this place. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, I ran out of turning space. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. <laughs> Very heavy. Mucho peso. Mucho peso, yeah. Yeah. Yes, oh. we found a place. Yes. I'm so happy. Awesome. It just started raining pretty badly, so I'm really glad that we got here when we did. And look, this place is awesome and has a swimming pool. Wow, what a paradise in the middle of the desert, hey? It's like a little oasis. I thought really that there are no options available until another further 40 miles. So I'm so pleased and so happy that we found this place here, that we can have a good rest and a good sleep tonight. Yes, we made it super far today, nearly 300 miles, despite the slow roads, the queues and everything in between. So that puts us really close to the border of Ecuador. So that's where we're heading tomorrow. Yes, I'm super excited and I really can't wait. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. And if you really, really, really like our videos, then you can join us on Patreon. The link is in the description below. We will see you next time. Oh my God, are you gonna do it? Nice. Nice. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <Whee>. <laughs> oh, beautiful. 